Debbie's store. I've been working real hard sweeping off my porch, and now it's time for some fun. Are you ready? Follow me. First, we're going to go over to the post office, and we're going to get today's letter from Postman... Oh, hi, Miss Lana. Hey, Elmer. Uh, excuse me. I was just telling the boys and girls that we're going to... I don't want to interrupt. I just came to browse. Okay. As I was saying, we're going to... you just go ahead, and you do what you've got to do, because I know that you've got a lot that you've got to do, and I'm going to be just a, a quiet little church miles over here someplace, and I'll just, uh, I'll, uh, oh, my... I'll eat this donut. Yes, Elmer, you go ahead and you do that. But first we're going <gasps> What did I do? Elmer, your donut. Well, I'll pay for it. No, it's today's letter. Now, Miss Lana, my donut is a donut. You've got lots of these. They're not ladders, honey. They're donuts. But look! It's an O! Oh! Today's letter is the letter O! Oh! O! The letter O! 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 O is for ostrich. O! O! Put your hands down. Lefty says, put your hands down. 
Leslie says, clap your hands. Stop clapping your hands. Oh, I didn't say lefty says. Let's try it again. Lefty says, stop clapping your hands. Lefty says, lift up your hands. Lefty says, put your hands down. Lift up your hands. Oh, I didn't say lefty says. Boys and girls, you can play this game over and over and just have as much fun with it as you want, but I want to remind you of something. You know, to obey is more than just a game. It's a way of life. It's real important that boys and girls remember this scripture. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Right? Right. 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 See, it's right. Hey, I'm in here, inside the whale's belly. I'm getting a little bit seasick. Oh, dear. My name is Jonah, and I'm a preacher. But God told me to go tell the people of Nineveh that they were supposed to repent. Nineveh is a very wicked city. Well, I didn't want to go, and I made a terrible mistake. I got on a boat, and I went as far in the other direction as I could go. A big storm came up, and, and I knew it was because I had disobeyed God. So I told the sailors to throw me over the edge of the ship. And when I did, I wound up here inside the belly of this whale. I've been here for about three days and three nights. I don't know what's going on, but this whale's stomach is tossing and turning. I sure don't like it in here. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I'll go to Nineveh if you'll just get me out of here. Okay, boys, put it in right there on the stand. Easy now, easy, delicate. Okay, good. We're done. See ya. Bye. Send me a bill. Who's that? Oh, they're movers, Miss Landa. They moved her keyboard in. Who's this? Senior Music. Senior Music? Yeah, Senior Music. See, today's show is on obeying, and he's going to obey me and play a little song. Hit it, Senior. You see, it's very important. Boys and girls learn to obey. They need to obey their parents and their teachers and policemen. And here's a little song to help them obey. White, black, don't talk back. Red, gray, you gotta do what they say. Mind your mom, your dad, obey. And you will live long and have good days. Singing white, black, don't talk back. Red, gray, you gotta do what they say. Mind your mom, your dad, obey. And you will live long and have good days. Hippopotamus, earth and stars, all obey the word of the Lord. Do what they were created to do. If they do it, then you should too. Sing in white, black, don't talk back. Red, gray, you gotta do what they say. Mind your mom, your dad, obey. And you will live long and have good days. Hippopotamus, earth and stars, all obey the word of the Lord. Do what they were created to do. If they do it, then you should too. Sing in white, black, don't talk back. Red, gray, you gotta do what they say. Mind your mom, your dad, obey. And you will live long and have good days. Yes, you will live long and have good days. You will live long and have good days. If you'll learn to obey. The letter O. Big O. Little O. 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 O is for obey. This is ridiculous. I've been out of that whale's belly for almost a week now, and I've still got seaweed in my hair. Well, I'd better not let that stop me from doing what God called me to do here. I've got to preach to the people of Nineveh. Oh, people of Nineveh, you must repent. Two days ago, you had 40 days. Yesterday, it was 39. Today, it's 38, and God said your city is going to be destroyed. You must turn from your wickedness and turn to God. You have 38 days. Folks, you'd better listen. You had 40.
dirty to begin with. Two days are already past. You'd better turn to God. Uh, uh, Jonah, I, I heard about your message. I am the king of Nineveh, and I'm really sorry for all of our sins. Well, you'd better, king. You folks have got a mighty wicked city here. Oh, I know that, but we want to change things, Jonah. We're really serious about this. Well, you'd better be, because you can't fool God. Oh, we don't want to fool God. We want to repent. We want to change, Jonah. Oh, we don't want God to destroy our city. We want him to have mercy on us. Well, you'd better. You guys cheat and steal and lie. You do terrible things here in Nineveh. Oh, I know that, but we're sorry. We're willing to stop those things. There are lots of murders here, and people are always watching those dirty movies. We're willing to stop that too, Jonah. We'll stop it all. Look, I even put on sackcloth. I'm the king. I've got ashes on the top of my head. I want God to forgive us. Do you think maybe he'll spare our city? Well, I don't know, but I'm telling you one thing. If you keep living in the wickedness you're in, you guys are really headed for trouble. Oh, God, please forgive us. Oh, I hope he does, Jonah. I hope he does. Boys and girls, I'm so glad you could join us. It's time for our story, and today's story is Brindle's Icy Adventure. Even though the sun shone warmly, there was still snow on the ground in many places. I know what we can do today, said Skippy. Let's slide down the hill by the pond. The snow was already packed down, so you can go very fast. Come on. Brindle ran after his little friend. The pond is right at the bottom of that hill. If we slide down, we'll end up in the water. Silly bear, you've been asleep all winter. Don't you know that the pond freezes over? It becomes a solid sheet of ice. When they reached the pond, Skippy scampered out onto the top. See, it's perfectly safe. Brindle carefully stepped on the ice. It seemed solid enough. Just then, three squirrels came sliding down the hill onto the pond and zipped past Brindle. Wow, that looks like fun. Let's go, Skippy. Then Brindle heard his mother's voice. Brindle Bear. Look, Mama, Brindle said. We're going to slide down the hill by the pond. It's really fun. Brindle, I don't think that's a good idea. Mama, the pond is frozen over. I won't get wet. Besides, all the rabbits and squirrels are doing it. Brindle, you are much heavier than a squirrel or a rabbit. I don't want you to go on the ice. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. Mama walked down the hill out of sight. Well, said Skippy, you can still slide down the hill. You'll just have to be sure to stop before you get to the bottom. Yeah, let's go. Whee! Brindle yelled as he slid down the hill. The pond was getting closer and closer. Suddenly, he was on the ice. This is fun, he thought. Mama was wrong. He finally came to stop way out in the middle of the pond. He hurried to his feet, eager to slide down the hill again. Just then he heard a terrible sound. Crack! 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 Suddenly, Brindle plunged into the icy pond below. Mama! he cried. From the back side of the hill, Mama Bear heard Brindle. She ran to the edge of the pond, crashed through the ice, and swam over to her cub. Soon they were safely on the shore. Mama Bear shook the cold water off her coat and began to gently lick her cub dry. Mama, I'm so sorry I disobeyed you. You were right about the ice. From now on, I'm going to obey you. Mama Bear pulled her little cub close and gave him a big bear hug. You know, boys and girls, just like Brindle, when he obeyed his mama, he was safe. The Bible says in Ephesians 6, 1, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. The letter O. 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 O is for ostrich. O. 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 Big O. Boys and girls, it's real important that we learn how to sing and worship the Lord. So I want you to help me sing this song. It says, Come, let us adore Him. Oh, 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 Oh, 
Bible tells us, children, obey your parents in the Lord. It's very important that you learn that. That kind of reminds me of a traffic light. You know, your mom and dad don't want you to obey so you won't have any fun. They want you to obey so you'll be protected. You know, a traffic light has different colored lights, red and yellow and green. The green light means you can go. The yellow light means caution. And when the light turns red, that means you better stop or you might get hit by a car. That's kind of like the commandments of God. Whenever you do what the commandments say, they won't make you lose all your fun. They'll make you have life. And you need to do that by obeying your mom and dad. Sometimes that's kind of hard to do. So let's pray that Jesus will help us to have the strength to obey him. Come on, you pray this with me. Say, Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you'd help me to be good and obey my mom and dad. In Jesus' name, amen. Ephesians 6, 1 says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, and you'll have the blessings of God. The number four. Four.
mistake was still there. It wasn't, but in its place was a, are you ready for this? A dead dog! He had eaten the steak and died because it was poison. Whoa! Thank God for the Holy Spirit. That could have been me. Hey, hey, Nicodemus, you know what? You know what? What, Harry? What's today's number? I'm not going to tell you. You're not going to tell? Uh, why not? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to show you. Let me give you a hint. Okay. Now watch me. Okay. Today's number is golf club? No, that's not a number. Here, watch me again. Okay. Here's a hint. Okay. Ready? Today's number is 120. 120? Yeah, isn't that about what you shoot? That's not funny, Harry. One more hint. Now watch carefully. Okay. Four. Today's number is the number five. Not five. It's four. Four. One, two, three, four. Four. Are you sure it's not five? It's four. Four. Hello, boys and girls. Lefty right here with today's number. And as you know, today's number is the number four. That's right. One, two, three, four. Four. Four is today's number. You know I love the number four. Oh, let's think about four for just a minute. That's enough. Oh, I love four. There's a lot of things that you can do with the number four. I mean, four is a wonderful number. In fact, there's four tires on a car. There's four wheels on a wagon. There's four fingers on your hand and a thumb. You know, there's a lot of things that there's four of. There's four chairs around this table. And I have some other things that I have four of. I have four pink snowballs. I have four chocolate cupcakes. I have four chocolate ding-dongs. But I want to show you, boys and girls, an amazing discovery that I made, how you can take something that you have four of and turn it into eight. You says, how can you make eight out of four? It's real simple, see? You just pick up something and you ate it, see? Eight. But our number is four. 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 The number four. The number four. 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 One, two, three, four. Four elephants. The number four. Four eggs. The number four. Boys and girls, today's number is the number four. One, two, three, four. Let's see if we can find four in this song. Ten bears in the bed and a little one said, I'm tired, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell off. Nine bears in the bed and the little one said, I'm tired. Roll over, so they all rolled over and one fell off. Eight bears in the bed, and the little one said, I'm tired. Roll over, so they all rolled over and one fell off. Yes, they all rolled over and one fell off. Seven bears in the bed, and the little one said, I'm tired. Roll over, so they all rolled over and one fell off. Six bears in the bed, and the little one said, I'm tired. Roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell off. Five bears in the bed and the little one said, I'm tired. Roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell off. Four bears in the bed and... Wait a minute. That's today's number, boys and girls. The number four. One, two, three, four. Four bears in the bed and the little one said, I'm tired. Good night. Boys and girls, we're almost out of time, and I hope you learned something today about obeying. Today's letter is the letter O. O is for obey, and the Bible says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. And today's number is the number four. One, two, three, four. And we'll see you next time on The Candy Store. Bye-bye. <laughs>